an amazing man. Well, the distribution of preferences is underway to determine the final results of the state election. Our reporter Jacqueline Robson joins us now. Good evening, Jack. How is the count progressing? Well, Joe, several of the higher vote getters have been officially declared elected, while unsuccessful candidates have been excluded. Those votes have been thrown in the mix for the distribution of preferences. Now, Franklin is where a lot of the action has been today. Labor's David O'Byrne has been declared elected with his political comeback now official, causing lots of talk of potential leadership ambitions. In the same seat, the Liberals' Nick Street could give the government an extra seat majority if he edges out the Greens' Rosalie Woodruff. He's only about 100 votes in front at the moment. In Lyons and Braddon, we're still some way from, away from dividing votes among the major party members. In Denison, Ella Haddad is more than 1,000 votes in front of Labor colleague and incumbent member Madeleine Ogilvie. The fifth seat in Bass is yet to be determined and could go three ways, really. So, Joe, still quite a bit of work for the Electoral Commission ahead. Jacqueline, thank you very much for that report. Tasmania is proving to be an even bigger hit with international tourists than previous years, with an 18% increase recorded in the year ending December 2017. It's great news for tourism providers with several new establishments opening to cash in on the boom. It's views like this that make our state so appealing. RACT's Freshenay Lodge has opened nine new coastal pavilions, offering a warm and cosy oasis with a bath on the deck and plenty of modern luxe. Well, stay with us. Still to come in our broadcast tonight, tensions between the UK and Moscow escalate over the poisoning of a former spy. A father tells how he cheated death and the revival of a vintage train carriage.